So today's question comes from someone who does not want to be named, but their question is this. Hi, Keith, I need your help. Should I obey my mother if my mother tells me not to watch videos about God? So thank you for your question. Now, I did inquire about this person's age because that does matter and it will affect my response. And this person did tell me that they are indeed 16 years old. So what is a child, a teenager who still lives at home with their parents to do when their parents make it clear that they will have none of that Christianity within their walls? Or just simply that they don't want you reading or watching anything to do that has anything to do with Christianity. Now, because you are a minor, my response is going to be a little different. OK, so how does the Bible admonish children in regards to how they should treat their parents? Children are to honor their parents. Ephesians 6 two, honor your father and mother. This is something that the Lord takes extremely serious, so much so that it was a death sentence. It was literally a death sentence in the Old Testament uh, for disobedient children. We have one example in Leviticus where a child was literally taken outside the camp and stoned to death for cursing at his parent. It's an important thing to note that the honoring of your father and mother is the first commandment with promise. Exodus 20, 12, honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. So I think I've made it clear that it's a serious thing for a child to respect their parents, especially when you're living under their roof. But what happens when those parents do not honor God? OK, those parents may be atheists or they may be of another religion or another false religion altogether. So what is a 16 year old to do when their parents have made it clear that there will be no Jesus in their house? OK, last year I had pretty much the same question emailed to me by a girl who was 13 or 14 years old and she had the same problem and was living with her mom, who was a single mom. Now, the girl pretty much detailed how she and her mom would go into these loud, get into these loud screaming matches. And she was very honest about her temper and how, you know, she would run to her room and slam the door in frustration. That's not what you want to do. OK, my advice here to this 16 year old is this. Ask your mother if you could have a serious talk with her. OK, be very respectful and tell your mother why it's important to you that you be able to watch videos or read about Jesus in the Bible. Um, and if your mother is still adamant about there being no Christianity under her roof, then this is how you respond. OK, mom, I love you and will respect your wishes because my God commands me to honor my mother and my father, even if I don't agree with them. OK, you may even want to quote the verse Ephesians 6 2 to her. And you do this because it's important for your parents to see the good fruit that has been brought forth in your life through the worshiping of your God, Jesus Christ. You are not a rebellious teenager. You are a God fearing teenager. OK, now this doesn't mean that you can't go to the library and read, check out books or watch videos at the computer at school or the library, you know, uh, check books out and keep them in your life, your, your locker at school. And the point I'm trying to stress here is that if you are a child living under your parents roof, then you respect your parents wishes as long as they don't try to get you to worship a false god or a false religion okay you can't do that now also what you want to do is you want to pray without ceasing for your parents this is very important okay continually ask the lord to soften their hearts and while you are living under mom's roof be a prime example of what a god-fearing teenager looks like keep a clean room and do well in school okay so i hope this has helped let me give you an example I was 30 years old when I asked Chato to marry me. I talked to her father. He said no. Because he was an unbeliever. He's Catholic. He didn't want his daughter marrying some evangelical missionary. He said no. He said, no, I don't want you seeing my daughter. I was 30 years old. I was director of an international mission society. Been around the world. I submitted to him. So don't talk to me about you're not going to submit to your parents because I won't hear it. I submitted to him. Six months later, he sends me a message. I have never in my life seen a man like you. I no more expected you to submit to me than a man on the moon. You have. You can marry my daughter. She'll never find another man like you. So don't talk to me about you're too old. You know nothing of authority and knowing nothing of authority, you know nothing about God and how He works. Now, yes, that can be taken to extremes. And yes, your parents can even be wrong. But this is something you need to understand. You submit to your parents even if they're wrong and God will deal with your parents. 
Because when that man said no to me, I went up in the third floor there in the church and started to pray and I knew God impressed upon my heart, Son, stand and behold my power. I will fight for you.